Portland enjoys a legacy born of its past as an independent river town. Today, much of Portland remains a time capsule, reminiscent of a period when the Portland Canal provided a gateway to the Mississippi River and beyond. Historic Portland also served as a gateway for diversity as the waves of new American immigrants, French, English, Irish, German, and the last stop north for African Americans on the Underground Railroad. Portland was home to French merchants coming up the Ohio River, as well as the English, the Irish, and Africans who built the locks, and German craftsmen. In 2006, the National Park Service designated Portland a Preserve America neighborhood. The structures that survive into the 21st century tell a story of strength, especially the 19th and early 20th century shotgun homes, camelback houses, row houses, and intricate bungalows that remained after the 1937 flood. These houses boast steamboat Gothic architecture, reminding us of our river heritage. And of course, glorious 19th century mansions that line the streets near the river. Portland hugs the banks of the Ohio River on the western edge of downtown Louisville's business and industrial district. Portland remains an important asset in the shipment of goods through the McAlpin locks, railroads, and highways. This historic family neighborhood provides distinct and affordable homes. With its river connections, cultural diversity, and immigrant spirit, Portland's location provides easy access to both sides of the river, as well as downtown Louisville. Portland is still a real neighborhood, complete with social and economic diversity, and with a home for everyone. These features and big-hearted, hard-working people come together to make this a resilient and proud place to call home. It may seem puzzling that the median household income is only $21,000, but families sustain themselves by staying near family to share resources and take advantage of affordable housing. Although the housing values and median income in the area have dropped with the recession, educational options are improving and crime has steadily declined. Portland Pride envisions a better tomorrow and works for that vision through organizing neighborhood cleanup projects, block clubs, support for education, drug abuse prevention, and better police relations. Support for community institutions such as the annual Portland Family Reunion Festival, the nationally recognized Portland Museum, Neighborhood House, Portland Promise Center, the Salvation Army Boys and Girls Club, and the Portland Anchor, Louisville's oldest neighborhood newspaper, published monthly since 1975. Portland Now Incorporated is the neighborhood association committed to community development that framed the neighborhood plan. In 2005, Metro Council gave Portland Now priority for reviewing developers' plans before approval. More than 30 developers have avoided conflict with the neighborhood over shoddy construction of infill housing or below standard multifamily development by participating in this rapid response review. When people work together, there are solutions. Between 2004 and 2007, Portland Now kept a dedicated team of neighbors together with the help of the Center for Neighborhoods, the Portland Museum, and Metro Department of Neighborhoods. There is now a Portland plan. At the first community forum, nearly 100 neighbors spoke up about what they love about Portland and what they want to protect. 250 additional residents filled out surveys. Dozens more made input during eight open forums on housing, economic development, transportation, and historic preservation. At each step, Portland Now broadcast their ideas and finally circulated a petition that was signed by hundreds of residents in favor of rezoning Portland. In the words of Portland's much-loved storyteller and Portland anchor reporter, Tim Crabtree, back to what it is, single-family residential homes. In all, at least 500 residents have worked on this plan, and all own it. Since the people of Portland have much pride in their neighborhood, why not encourage stabilizing home ownership? 
perhaps subsidized loans for necessary home repairs, energy efficient rehab, conserving our architectural heritage with facade repairs, salvaging architectural details, and adaptive reuse of historic structures such as corner stores and old industrial buildings. Be selective about demolition. Acquire vacant lots to improve much needed green space, side yards, and off-street parking, which will also encourage neighborhood beautification and improve mixed-use residential, commercial, and industrial development. The Gateway Project is of specific importance because it won a $20,000 planning grant from Councilwoman Sherry Bryant Hamilton and should be implemented. Let's buy local first by supporting local businesses, which ultimately leads to more jobs. Finally, let's reconnect with our river heritage along the Portland Canal and Riverwalk, reopening the old wharf as a passive park, building a new bike path to find historic markers for the old town of Portland, Louisville's Underground Railroad Passage, and the river. Portland offers Louisville a vibrant, family-friendly, urban district with small town flavor. Portland needs well-maintained homes and streetscapes that welcome you to thriving, locally owned businesses, public parks, and neighborhood attractions. Come to Portland, where young families, singles, and retirees can find a supportive community for learning, dreaming, working, and playing.